We've already talked about angles that are created on the edge of the circle um, and somewhere in the center of the circle. Uh, well, well, now we need to look at angles that are created outside the circle, such as the ones shown by these two intersecting secant lines. Let's call the angle between the secant lines angle X, and then let's call these arc angles created by the intersection on the circle angle A and angle B. As you can see, um, other lines can create um, intersections outside the circle as well, such as between two tangents or a secant and a tangent. First, let's look at the intersection of two secants. To show um, the relationship that's created, I'm going to draw a line here in green between these two intersecting points on the circle. By doing this, I've created an inscribed angle. This inscribed angle created here becomes half the measure of arc angle B, as we discussed um, in a previous slide, that an uh, inscribed angle is half the measure of the arc, intercepting arc angle. Also, another inner, uh, inscribed angle was created here, creating half the measure of um, this arc angle B. And going back to the exterior angle being equal to the sum of the remote interior angles, that makes half this half angle B equal to the sum of half angle A plus X. Um, and then when you rearrange that, you then find that angle X then will be half the difference between arc angle A and B. The same relationship can be shown between two tangent lines, calling this angle X, arc angle A, and arc angle B. By drawing this line in green, we've created an inscribed angle here and an inscribed angle here. And the same relationship exists um, using the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. Creates that angle X between two tangent lines is also half the difference between angle A and angle B. And the same relationship can then be shown between a tangent line and a secant line because once again in the green line we've created two inscribed angles and then an exterior angle of a triangle. So based on the last three slides you can see how important it is um, to understand that an inscribed angle is, is equal to half the sum of the intersecting arc because it proves so many more relationships um, that we've discussed between angles and circles.